So this is G. Francis, number 83, officer number 83, refused to give me a, a business card for whatever reason, but he's got a really big gun in the front seat because he's all by himself. And he scared the crap out of me, like putting on his gloves, sneaking around the building, pretending like he's going through the drive-thru when he isn't. I go into the bathroom, I come out, and he's going to pretend like he's just here to talk to me. He's not even here to talk to me. He's heading into Tim Hortons to buy some Tim Hortons. So he's in uniform. He didn't look very undercover to me. Can I make a statement? Please do. It's unfortunate that I didn't get it on camera because when I noticed the employee of Tim Hortons leaving the building here as the police officer came through here, I had to put the battery back in, but that's what I noticed. <laughs> that police officer vehicle came through the drive-thru and as it came out this way and then a, a manager came with it um, and came, looked at me here, stood around the car and then went into the Tim Hortons. Oh, so they okay. are targeting this individual right here. Yeah, I think we've been targeted. We've just wow. We've but been who targeted us? It wasn't necessarily the police, right? It was an employee at Tim Hortons. Now the officer was saying that it was because there was solicitation going on. There was asking for money. Like I'm homeless. To my understanding, we went in and spent money. We did. We each. He bought me a coffee and myself a coffee. And we pay money for it. Apparently, we used the queen, Queen's money. We made this happen. It's pretty cool. It's pretty awesome. Thanks, Queenie. Whoever you I, are, because I don't know you, but right. uh, you're she, not my she's queen. She's not my queen. You have a title called Queen, so I'll address you by Apparently, it. Apparently, she thinks she's sovereign, but she's not. You could cut her in half, and she would definitely be in two pieces and not one. Which you're not. She's not. It, it is sep inseparable. She's not indivisible. So. Anyway, and neither am I. You can cut off all my body parts and all of a sudden I'm not sovereign. I'm not sovereign anyway because I need air to breathe and it just keeps coming and going. So there goes the officer and he's really upset because we haven't left yet. Well, the thing is we still haven't done anything wrong. And I'm moving along. Oh, I'm moving along. We're just making this documentation We're first. Just, yeah, the, I need to record some stuff here first. The traffic uh, act says that he has to be completely... In uniform. Focus. No, no, you have to be completely oh, focused in driving and not in this camera. So we can't it's move until it's more this important is done. to be safe. Safety first. That's right. So now he's sitting at the Canadian Center <coughs> to park. He's watching us. Now he's definitely profiling us. And if he's parked over there, we're going to go over and we're going to talk to him. Because I'm upset because he did a little undercover. And there's something in, in the Canadian Criminal Code called skulking. Now, if he's not undercover, and he's not like, he's not like under the cover of a liability insurance that has been applied to his uh, all capital legal, legal fiction name, so that he can actually operate in commerce under cover, under cover of what the liability insurance. So now he's going to act like a regular individual, but he knows, and the liability insurance, which is the other side of the contract, they know that. He is is a uniformed officer, even though he's out of uniform or not in uniform, but he's in uniform because he's under the liability. So basically, you know, skulking, I can charge you for that. Um, I can also charge you for not giving me ID when I ask for it. Um, he thought that he gave me ID by telling me that his number is 83 and he's in Brockville. What was his name? Francis? G. Yeah, Francis. G. Francis. F. -A R-A-N-C-E-S. He did have his name tag on, even though, you know, they're Velcro and they can just rip it off real quick so you don't know who he is, right? Because they do weird stuff. Why are they so tricksy? Why are they so, uh, really good at deceiving people? They act like the Riddler. Yeah, they act like a, like a villain from a comic book. So, anyway, um, I don't like being profiled, me, myself, personally. And I've been profiled a lot. And, uh, whether I charge those officers or not for what they're doing, it is harassment. So that's another charge on top of that. If I catch you skulking, that's another charge. But the thing is, I'm not a police officer. So I'm not eligible to actually issue the charges. 
What do you think of that? Very true. Yeah. So, would you like to use your all capital legal fiction name to charge Chief Francis for profiling today? Because, you know, you got, you got enough documentation here to know that, you know, he was trying to use coercion. He was trying to coerce me. Almost like soliciting, almost like bribery. But the thing is, is I, I, you know, no amount of money will make me lie. No amount of money will make me kill somebody. No, money, no amount of money will make me deny. Excuse me, no amount of money would make me accept that Satan is God. I know that sounds funny, but you know what? Satan's not God. And uh, I might have a little bit of Antichrist in me. A little bit of Satan might be working its working its uh, weird shit on me. What's the word? The word is good. And the word... It was with God. And it is God. So, we're being profiled still? Should we go over and talk to him? Just leave it alone? I'd, I'd just see what he does next. Well, he's just sitting over there staring at us. Yeah. He's not even parked in a parking spot. He's parked diagonally across parking spots. So, so he's that, facing straight So that he us. can watch us. Anyway, he's going to say that I'm profiling him now by videotaping him. There he is. There he is, Mr. Frazier. Would you like to do some more business, Mr. Frazier? I don't mean to be demeaning. I'm not trying to be... I'm just trying to be funny because I think it's fucking hilarious how... The police are fishing. They're fishers. They're fishermen. They're looking for fish. I'm a man. Why are you fishing for fish in a, in a, in a, in a, in a pond of men? Wow. It just blows my mind. I, I just, you know, I'm losing the ability to actually put words to all this stuff. Because it's just so heinous. Like this guy, you know what a police officer is meant to do? You know what a police officer is meant to do? He's supposed to come in and ask you if you need any help. Can I help you? I'm here to serve the public. Happens that uh, you got some, uh, some, some, some boxes that need to be lifted and moved from here to here. I don't want you to do that and hurt yourself. I'm here to protect you. I, don't, I think you might just be putting yourself in danger. So that heavy lifting box there, we're going to lift it. Three guys are going to lift it instead of just you. So basically, the police are swearing an oath to be foremen, to make the society work. But instead, they got guns, and they're fucking acting like hunters. And what happened in Montreal there last year, they now have laws that give them the ability to hunt people. Not to mention the habeas corpus they took back out in the 70s and shit. And, come on, in the G20, basically anybody who looks like anybody, you know, he's got a hat on. So anybody else with a hat, we're, we're guilty by association. I got a jacket on, he's got a jacket on, we're guilty by association. I got a phone number written on my arm, it's the same phone number. We both got the same tattoo. We got, uh, we both fucking blew our nose at the same time. We're guilty by association. We both, we're associated, but only by one thing. And what is that? That's corroborated evidence. That is actually um, substantiated testimony, which is somebody actually using their all, all capital legal fiction name to associate as an invitation to come in and testify again in court so that the charges may be applied and app lied lied anyway so the somebody in here at Tim Hortons in Brockville called the police and said that um, I was soliciting money I don't ask for money I don't want any of the Queen's money I want any more of this stuff he's in charge of the money He's the one who puts the gas in the tank now. It's not me. I don't even use that stuff anymore. And it's a blessing. And you know what? I can't wait for somebody else to come along and manage all the money for the rest of this family. And it's not just us two, okay? Just so you know. All the Freemasons. And all those guys who are married to Satan. And they, they think that they can call their buddies and stuff like that. Go right ahead. Send your buddies to my house. They'll all be on camera. And they're all going to get caught for being killers. Christmas. Love you guys.